everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be summoning. And the best way to summon is to sew. It's not the only way. But it's the way we're doing today. For this summoning, we're going to need some ingredients. We got some fabric. We got some scissors. Scissors are sharp, so be careful. Oh, where's your mate? You might hurt yourself. Yeah. Firstly, I'm going to use this embroidery hoop. It's going to help me make a nice circle. And I'm going to put some cardboard underneath for some support. I've then repeated this step. I now have two circles. Once I've tediously got this thread through the needle, I'm going to be sewing the two circles together, leaving a small gap so I can add stuffing later. And now to bring this ball of cloth to life, by rejuvenating it with some stuffing. Now he's big, plump and chunky, we're going to sew the rest of them up. Unfortunately, the camera angle was off a little bit, so let me explain what's happening. I've basically cut the cloth into like a cone triangle shape, and then I've curled it, and this is going to make a beak. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to have the camera not focus that. Now that I've sewed the beak so that I can stuff it, it's time to secure it to the face. said I was organised so I'm just going to go ahead and grab some random bits of cut off cloth that I have and we're going to make this work. Just trust the process. It looks like a big diaper right now. That's okay. I'm just going to keep sewing in places making it come more pludgy. Pludgy. It's plumpy. It's bouncy. We'll do the job. And after so cleverly balancing my bird like snowman going to be sewing it together. Please just ignore halfway through there's a plaster on. I didn't injure myself. I'm not a dummy. I'm not a dummy. Do I look like a dummy? Sort of fool. I'm gonna sew this big old gooseberry some eyes and some little nose holes to breathe through. After cutting around the pieces, I'm gonna add some goo glue, I think it's called that, but it's so that you can cut around it without the thread spraying. Now I don't know if it's advised to use your fingers, but it's the best tactic I've got, and I'm going to use that. For creating my little friends and legs, I found some velcro strips, and I'm going to start by sewing them together so that they're curved into a kind of tube shape. I've left some room at the bottom of each tube so I can make some little claws. one of those bras that come with the pads inside and I didn't want them so I cut them out and now we're going to use them as feet. I've used a hot glue gun to help me to shape these feet and surprisingly it feels like little cat paws which is a win in my book. I'm now going to be using fabric paint to make it match the rest of the design.
Now that it's complete, I gotta make a cute photo. Ah, I gotta make a cute background setup. Goodbye. This is my new favorite friend. He has a bird, he is cute, and if anyone were to hurt them, I would kill them. And they would die. And simply because this bird is so cute, here's a montage of pictures because I couldn't stop taking them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please leave a thumbs up or a comment I'd like to see a comment leave a comment you must leave a comment join me next time when I do a real summoning and there will be blood and guts and and bones all is that my bird is gonna be an animation when I finally finish it probably in three years and here's a sneak peek Quick update, he lives on my shelf now. Doesn't he look cute?